Back to the question we've been asking today. When you're on the road, are your children safe in their seats? It's the question we've been trying to help you answer. Yeah, well, car seats are notoriously difficult to install. Oh. And even if you think you did it right, there's a strong chance you didn't. Our Hank Winchester is live in Canton, where certified inspector is helping families make the needed adjustments. Hank. Yes, and I just learned that I've been making a big mistake. Listen, this is a problem that I'm very focused on right now. <laughs> My child's not so interested in this issue at the moment, but she understands, and I do as a parent, that making sure your little one is safe in this seat, it is critical. Take a look. It's just nice and tight. Right now, you are inside the Canton Fire Department. I like how you have space between here. Mm -hmm. This family here for what could be a life-saving inspection. When you're in a car, I wouldn't put the owl on oh, the handle. Okay. It's hard plastic. Child and infant car seats. The reality is they can be challenging to install and parents may make mistakes and not even realize it. Also, during the pandemic, many free safety checks like this one, they just weren't available. Are you surprised how many times you look at a car seat and think that wasn't in there right? I would say majority of my seats are wrong yeah. for people coming in. And then I kind of work through it with them. This family doing things right, but they were making a few mistakes. As much as you want to be able to see him when you're driving, I wouldn't use the mirror. Oh, okay. The mirror's hard plastic. I was surprised by the sound in the mirror. I think I'm more surprised by the mirror not being there yeah, than absolutely. anything. Yeah. Because yeah. they sell them and you want to be able to see your kids. Right. So Installation bad. mistakes could cause big problems, injuries, even death. It's exactly why I went out with inspectors today. We wanted to check parents' car seats to make sure their children are safe. Let me start with your littlest one and then we'll work our way up. Sure. And we did find installation problems. Ooh, a little loose. I'm gonna fix that. Good thing we checked it. A few oh simple God, changes it. and corrections oh giving parents and grandparents yeah. peace of mind. I always try to do my best, but there's always that error, that yeah. that human error that can occur. YouTube is a good resource. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. 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 As well as running into you guys. Yeah. All right, back out here live at the Canton Fire Department. I'm joined with Nicole. And Nicole, when we took a close look at my car seat, which I thought that I had expertly installed, I, I also made a mistake, right? A you common did. one. Yep. It's what very was common. the issue? The only thing that I found that was wrong is you didn't pull the seatbelt all the way out and retract it back in. This part right here? Yes. Okay. And so you don't want that wiggle room because it could cause the right. car seat itself to move around. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Nicole, thank you very much. Very common mistake, I'm told. Very common. But again, I thought I did everything right. I didn't. That's why you you really have to take the time to make sure you're doing everything right. Let's get to my colleague, Local 4's Pamela Osborne, to see how her car seat inspection turned out. Pamela? Hey, Hank, you know what? You're not the only one who made a mistake. I made that same mistake, and we had another issue that Renee is going to tell us about. So, uh, Renee, talk me through my inspection. How did we do here? You guys actually did really good. Okay. Um, the mistakes that I saw were very common, actually, so that, you know, it's it's nice to know that you're not alone in the, some of these things. So, one thing that we did is we corrected you using the seatbelt, and we tightened it, so we made it nice and tight so there's no slack in your seatbelt system. But another thing is that caregivers will use both this lower anchor with the seatbelt system and you, you can't do that. It's either one or the other. Mm. So whatever one you feel the most comfortable using is the one that we're gonna encourage you to use. So in this case, um, you want to install with the seatbelt. So we did it that way and we're just gonna stow those away so they don't you know flop around or hit anything. Um, and then the other adjustment, big adjustment we did is making her harness nice and snug against her body and uh, making sure that that retainer clip, that ch uh, chest clip, that plastic piece is right at armpit level because then that will keep the shoulder straps nice and snug down on their shoulders. Okay, so we have a few seconds left. Mm -hmm. We also have um, our young guy in the back here. Yes. He had some issues too. He's actually doing some holiday shopping and selecting <laughs> some of the things he wants. But tell us about some of the mistakes so, here. Um, this one, um, Caleb was actually really good. We just adjusted his recline angle to make sure that he's at a good recline so that if he falls asleep, his area will stay open, his head will stay back. And then we just fixed some installation issues, tightening it. That was it, yeah. All right, Renee, thank you You're so much. Welcome. I feel like I can draw a lot safer and feel a lot better knowing that we got Good. this done. Uh, so thank you very much. That is the very latest from us here. I'm going to send things back to you guys in the yeah. studio now. And as soon as Caleb saw mom, yep. he was like, okay, I, I, he was doing good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now he's crying. Yeah. So I guess I got to whip out the cookies again. No, no, no. Very, very good information, Pam. We appreciate
appreciate it so much. And by the way, we do have an online resource guide to help you find a child safety seat inspection in your area. As you can see, it really is worth the effort to make sure your seats are in correctly. You can find the guide on the homepage of our website. Click on Detroit.com.